Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 39. In this video, we prove another theorem. Let us see the statement of the theorem. If capital M is a lean, closed, closed linear subspace of a Hilbert space capital H, then H can be written as direct sum of M and M perpendicular or M orthogonal. This symbol M this one is known as M perpendicular or M orthogonal which is the set of all orthogonal elements to the elements of capital M. We prove this theorem. One of the important theorem for examination also. So let us take capital HBA Hilbert space and capital M is a closed linear subspace of H. M is a closed linear subspace of capital H. It is very trivial. It is very trivial. We know that simple simple fact M orthogonal or M perpendicular is also is also a closed a closed linear subspace of a closed linear subspace of the Hilbert space capital H. It is evidently, it is evidently M plus M plus M orthogonal M plus M orthogonal is a closed subspace is a closed subspace of capital H. Our aim is to show that here we have to prove that we have to prove that the Hilbert space capital H, the Hilbert space capital H is equals to M direct sum with M orthogonal. H is equals to M direct sum with M orthogonal. So our aim is to show that Hilbert space can be written as direct sum of the closed subspace M and its orthogonal perpendicular, ortho perpendicular orthogonal, M orthogonal. So let us assume one contradictive point if possible if possible assume that if possible assume that h is not a direct sum of m and its orthogonal h we have to prove that equal to we assume that it is not equal to h not equals to m direction m perpendicular so what it means so you have to then m direction m orthogonal is a proper subspace of h is a proper subspace of capital h it is a proper subspace of capital h by previous theorem by previous theorem by previous theorem there is a theorem I, I think it is theorem number 36 stated like this if capital M is a proper subspace capital M is a proper subspace uh, capital M is a proper closed proper closed linear subspace proper closed linear subspace of a Hilbert space capital H then then there exists a non-zero vector there exists a non-zero vector Z naught in capital H satisfying the condition Z naught is perpendicular to capital M Z naught is perpendicular to capital M. This is previous theorem. I think this theorem explained in the video number 36 or 35. I don't know the exact number. So I repeat the statement. If capital M is a proper closed linear subspace of capital H, then there exists a non-zero vector Z naught, non-zero vector Z naught in the Hilbert space capital H satisfying the condition Z naught is perpendicular to capital M. Z naught is perpendicular to capital M. Applying this theorem, applying this previous theorem to our present theorem. 
Now, if you apply the same theorem to our present theorem, instead of m we have, instead of we, m we have, m directs m, m orthogonal. So, applying this theorem here, there exists a non-zero vector, there exists a non-zero vector, z naught, that belongs to H, that belongs to H, such that, such that, this z naught is perpendicular to m directs m, m perpendicular, m directs m, m perpendicular. Now, now, take an, take an element x belongs to capital M. Let us take x belongs to capital M. It is an element, element of the closed linear subspace capital M. So, this x can be written as x plus 0. It means where this 0 belongs to M orthogonal. So, this x is equals to x plus 0 is clearly belongs to M direction M orthogonal. M direction M orthogonal. It means, it means the element x belongs to M direction M direction M orthogonal and we have an element z naught we have an element z naught that is perpendicular to m direction m orthogonal so now combining these two properties combining these two properties you have you can you can conclude that z naught is perpendicular to x z naught is perpendicular to x if z naught is perpendicular to x then obviously this z naught belongs to m perpendicular because m perpendicular is the set of all perpendicular elements set of all perpendicular elements so z naught belongs to m perpendicular similarly similarly we can show that similarly we can show that the same z naught belongs to m double orthogonal also m double orthogonal also so now for any element now for any element x belongs to m orthogonal we can write x is equals to x plus 0 which belongs to m orthogonal directs m m double orthogonal and z naught is perpendicular to m orthogonal directs m m double orthogonal implies as z naught is perpendicular to x implies as z naught belongs to m double orthogonal i said that similarly we show that the same thing z naught is per belongs to m double orthogonal m double orthogonal it means it means you can you can conclude that here z naught belongs to m orthogonal and the same z naught belongs to m double orthogonal so we conclude that z naught belongs to the intersection of that sets m orthogonal intersection m double orthogonal but there is a fact there is a fact m orthogonal intersection m double orthogonal is equals to set zero they have no common elements they have only one common element zero they have only one common element zero but here this z naught belongs to m orthogonal intersection m double orthogonal it means it means this z naught is equals to zero this is a contradiction this is a contradiction this is wrong because because here here by previous theorem by applying previous theorem we get a non zero vector z naught a non zero vector z naught but we prove that the same vector is equal to 0. Z naught is equal to 0. This is a contradiction. This contradiction exists. This contradiction exists because of our assumption. Therefore, our assumption H not equals to M directs M, M orthogonal is wrong. Our assumption is wrong. If our assumption is wrong, hence we conclude that H is equals to M directs M, M orthogonal. This completes the proof of the theorem. This completes the proof. Hence proof. 
वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थीरम एंड रिमेंबर दैट इफ एम इज ए क्लोजड लीनियर सब स्पेस इफ एम इज ए क्लोजड लीनियर सब स्पेस ऑफ ए हिलबर्ट स्पेस देन क्लियरली द हिलबर्ट स्पेस कैन बी रिटर्न एज डायरेक्ट सम ऑफ एम एंड इट्स आर्थोगनल कॉम्प्लीमेंट and it's perpendicular that's it keep learning in the next video we solve some problems depend or we learn some properties of this orthogonal sets keep learning